The chase ended here at this roundabout on Northwest 10th in Chartel. That car jumped over this curb, crashing into this guardrail. You can see the damage right there. And then it's made its way into this building, shattering the glass. And that's when that car flipped upside down. You can see now workers have covered that big hole that was left there with some ply board. Officials say that chase lasted about eight minutes. Sweeping up what's left of a glass pane after this car crashed into it, flipping over. This chase starting miles away at Southeast 43rd and High. While attempting to stop the vehicle, a passenger had actually uh, jumped out of the vehicle and fled on foot. The driver took off, leading police on a winding chase through the city at points hitting high speeds. Uh, as this pursuit was coming to an end, the vehicle struck a curb line there uh, in the area, flipped over onto its top and actually uh, landed inside a, some commercial property that was unoccupied. Police pulled the driver out of the car. Uh, the driver ultimately was taken into custody from inside the vehicle. He was transported to a local hospital, treated for uh, minor injuries and uh, arrested on, on several several charges booked into the Oklahoma County Detention Center. Police say this red car was reported stolen from Moore. That possibly could be why they why they decided to run. Police have contacted the owner of this business and they did say that suspect that ran off was not arrested.